Okay, so we just had the video tour of the Desert Island Project, but one of the most important elements of this build was creating the bridge that I'm standing on right now. So when we started this project, one of the challenges was we have a neighbor here and a neighbor here in this really tight easement, right? This is part of the reason why this property was probably out there for a while, was the whole connection here to get from the street, the cul-de-sac, to the home. There was a lot of work here, and this is a lot of coordination between Paul, who is our superintendent on this project, and our masons and earthwork company just so we can get uh, make this happen so keep in mind that at the end of the cul-de-sac this dropped off down so this drops down about 12 feet straight to this drainage so we have a natural wash that comes here so with arizona because we don't have a lot of storm drains uh, we have to work with the natural washes right because this is where the water is going to collect when we get these heavy rains heavy monsoons and so you don't want to impede you know this progress of the water and you have to keep these washes undisturbed so part of the intent here is we have to keep, again, for a client who's going to be driving in here to their home, you can't have this steep ramp down and up, right? It's just hard to get vehicles down, especially smaller vehicles. So what we did was is we came in, we worked with our earthwork company. Again, we, we moved all the natural vegetation. You can see behind me there that we have those natural swirls. So all the protected trees and plants have been moved and stationed, you know, and watered. So then that way it can protect them to reinstall after we're complete with the home. But in the interim, once those were moved, now we could come in and we could get that, the grubbing. So we were able to dig out, get the grubbing. Again, we had this huge valley, right, coming in and out. And so now we had to work with our earthwork company, go through dig, there was some hard dig involved um, because of the soil. And then we had to build these retaining walls. So you can see on either side of the driveway, you have these really tall retaining walls that now is retaining the driveway. And underneath where I'm at right now, we have these big pipes underneath. So then that way the water can come through and flow and keep that natural wash. So now as the water's coming down, we, we're not disturbing that, it's continuing. And now we can build this long driveway. You can see this driveway is super long as we walk back to the house. That's why we call it, call it Desert Island because it's propped up here on an island. Now we also wanted to, for sake of time, some of you that have been following along on our channel have seen us post about Modern Sunset. And one of the challenges with Modern Sunset is because it's a thousand foot driveway up the mountainside, there was a lot of work to coordinate the utilities from the cul-de-sac, from the street, and get it up the property. Because of that, you know, if you do that later in the pro project, you know, that was a 30-day process to get those utilities up, which really puts the project on hold. So what we did here at the same time that we were doing excavation, we said, okay, let's get the utilities in now. Let's get them in now so we're not disturbing this runway. You know, this only way to get material and equipment into the project, let's get the utilities in. So simultaneously, we worked and had worked with uh, our electrical and power companies, as well as uh, utilities, so we can get everything back here in a timely manner. And then now you can see the retaining walls had to be built. Again, City of Scottsdale had us build these higher over here. Really is not required engineering wise, but this is something the City of Scottsdale wanted to see. So again, something to communicate with our client because of the additional cost and how they wanted these to look. But as you walk down, you can see that there's another wash on the back side that also pops out here um, on this side of the home. So now we could create this long driveway, this great approach. And as our clients come in, you know, it gives them that privacy again. You know, you can see the side of the garage, so it kind of gives them a lot of privacy from their neighbors, that the neighbors see the garage and they have all these amazing views because they're out here on the island all by themselves. And you're gonna see that, especially with these drone overviews, just the amazing views they have, all the privacy, and we can't wait to get this one completed so you can see the finished product. Oh, 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 oh,